again. Welcome back. We're playing more Gakko in Heaven 2. I'm Rahena and we are on Arata's route. And last time we left off where Kuya and Chiba were having their little duel. And our decision point is to decide what Yuki is going to say in encouragement or whatever to one of these boys here. Volume's a bit loud. So... Because we're on Arata's route, we're going to say, oh well, because if you remember from last time, Arata is kind of just, this, they always do this, so it's it's fine. There's nothing to get worked up about, so. Oh well. If it's always happening, then it's not something to worry about so much. That's right, just sit back and watch. Sit back and watch is a bit much. Then what? Then I'll watch like I'm watching a samurai movie. Samurai? <laughs> samurai. So Arato finds this amusing. Go, go, Osagi samurai and Hayaya samurai. Don't either of you lose. That's Still, Chiba sounds amazing. He's serious, huh? Honky, honky. He is. If he hits, his opponent might get hurt. Isn't he scared? Who knows? And Kuya-san's amazing too, dodging everything. Watch out! This <laughs> It's called Kuya Mouse. I'm not really sure, you know, how strong that insult is, but you know, suggesting somebody's a mouse, something small, meek, but also kind of scurrying away. Maybe suggesting that Kuya's a bit of a coward. <laughs> I don't feel like getting hit by your attacks today. Don't make fun of me. Ah, ah. Hayaya has really lost his cool. Normally he seems a little more like he's going to hit. He's even more amazing than that? I guess you could say his aim is pretty sharp. Something like that? More than that. Right. Too weak. Too bad, I thought I could get a score on you today. And just imagine how weird this must look because it's two completely different styles of fighting. Chiba is obviously swinging his sword and we can hear the little whoosh of that, but Kuya is a fencer, so he's jabbing with his weapon. So it must look very interesting what they're doing. It's too bad we can't actually see it. Don't underestimate me. Hey, Arata-san. What? Could it be those two are having a lot of fun? You're surprisingly sharp, Ace-kun. What are you doing? So here's Keita. And can you just imagine the heart attack he's having? He's a brand new teacher and comes across these two idiot kids with swords swinging at each other. He must be like, oh my god. What did I get myself into? Though he should have known what he was getting himself into because he went to this school. And everybody here is crazy, so... Oh, Ito-sensei! Oh, it's Professor Ito. Futaitomo! Stop! Stop! It's pretty easy to understand that, but he's telling them to stop. Sensei, Professor, watch out! Chiba-senpai, nice sundome! Chiba-senpai, nice sudden stop, so... It's like... Keita just jumped right in the middle there because that's what he does, and Chiba managed to stop his swing just in time. It was amazing. He stopped the wooden sword at the last moment. What are you two doing? Well, it was a serious match. A serious match? Yeah, yeah. It was one of Osagi-san and Hayaya's usual ones. So now everyone's gonna come up with a little cover story. The usual? 
It wasn't a fight? It was a serious match, so Chiba, who had just been looking shell-shocked a second ago, has picked up this lie and just gone with it. But a match without a judge, how do you decide the outcome? You win if you hit the opponent. That's a fight. Hehehe. <laughs> Even though Asagi san tried to trick him, Hayaya is honest. So, as you can see, Chiba is not very successful with lying because that's just not in his nature. Since you two are watching, you should have stopped it. Hi. Right. But it was a match, so Yuki's over here trying to kind of pick up that, that excuse that it's just not going to work. Even if it was a match, that doesn't change that it was dangerous. Getting hit would have caused an injury, and it would have been terrible if other people had gotten involved. Don't worry, we absolutely wouldn't involve anyone else. Since Chiba Senpai and I can stop our swings. Na, Chiba Senpai. Right, Chiba Senpai? Tozenda. Of course. That's not the problem. Look at Keita trying so hard to be a proper teacher and bossy and extremely cute. <sighs> Look, you have to make up. You absolutely can't have any more fights. Hi, Makarimasa. Right, I understand. Sumanai, Chiba Senpai. Orega Isunida. Sorry, Chiba Senpai, I went too far. Your hand. It's a handshake to make up. Look, Chiba kun, you hold out your hand too. So poor Keita is imagining it. This is actually gonna work. Nah. Okay. So he kind of shoves them closer together. Hi. <laughs> Here, shake. Alright, we've made up. This is enough, isn't it, Professor? Yeah, that's good. Right. Like, that's gonna make any difference in the way these two behave. You mustn't fight anymore. You're especially forbidden from using weapons. Got it? Of course, we won't fight, right, Chiba Senpai? Right. Well, Kuya san, even if he's not gonna fight, he does intend to keep having matches. Hayaya mo ne. And Hayaya too. Well, after all, even though they complain, I guess they get along. Ja, ore wa iku kara. Minna nakayuku suru nda yo. Well, I'm going now. Everyone get along. Hi. Great. Bye bye. Bye. Ma, ima ichiban abunakatta no wa sensei nanda ga na. Well, just now the one in the most danger was the professor. Desu ne. Ikinari futari no aida ni tobikonde itta kara bikkuri shimashita. Seriously, since he suddenly flew in between you two, I was surprised. Eh. Haya ya, mou chotto de ate chau tokoro datta nja nai? Haya ya, just a little more and you would have ended up hitting him, right? No. That's right, what are you saying? Chiba Senpai would never do that. Injuring a professor who does his very best for the students would be a lousy thing to do. So again, you could see Kuya and his true, honest respect for Chiba, even if Chiba does not respect Kuya in return. Chiba Senpai is not a professor who does his best for the students. Chiba Senpai's skill isn't so undeveloped. You're one to talk. If I hadn't stopped, you were going to shield him with your body. Oh, you realized? I hate that sort of thing about you. Then you're not going to do it anymore? Or continue? 
今日の勝負は引き分けだ。Well, he put a damper on it, so today's match is a draw. いいだろ、千葉先輩。Is that okay? あ、yeah. そっか。で、これからどうする ?I see, then what are you gonna do now? 千葉さんは道場に行くんですよね。千葉さん、you're going to the dojo, aren't you? そうだ。That's right. あなたもそろそろプールに行こうっと。It's about time for Arata to go to the pool. And I have a lot more searching for Ninosuke to do. Minna Barabara da ne. Ace kun wa do suru? Everyone's scattering. What are you gonna do, Ace kun? Ore wa. And of course, we get the choice between all three guys. We can do. We can go with Kuya, we can go with Arata, or we can go with Chiba. Obviously, we're going to choose Arata because that's whose route. We are aiming for in this playthrough.、Um, we've already seen Kuya's also. If you look through my playlists, I have one for Kuya, and this scene is covered here. So the only one that, that won't be covered yet will be Chiba, but don't worry, Chiba's gonna be the next character I do once finishing Arata. So I'm going to stop this video here. Decision Point's always a great place to stop, and I'll pick up next time in the same spot, and we'll go to the pool and see what's going on with Arata. So, thank you for watching, and I hope you'll come back and enjoy the next one too.